Padres de Familia para subtítulos en español, por favor vaya a sus preferencias y presione subtítulos en español. Si usted gusta ver este video en español, por favor llame a nuestras oficinas para mostrar su interés. Gracias. Welcome to the Family OPA Eagle News just for parents and guardians. I'm Mr. Kennington, principal at the elementary school, and with me are Ms. Lopez, the junior high principal, and Ms. Young, the early childhood center director. In this, our May episode, we will take a look at the calendar, which is jam-packed. We will hear from our social workers. And we'll learn about our school board and what they do. Lastly, we'll hear about the O-Town Taco Showdown, OPA Spring Fundraiser. But first, let's take a look at what's going on at our three campuses. This month at the ECC, we do have a lot going on. So, on Tuesday, May 7th, kindergarten goes to the zoo for their field trip. And it's also the family engagement team meeting for parents and guardians, 315 upstairs at the ECC. Wednesday, May 8th is our at-home learning day, so no kids here at school. Thursday, May 9th is our O-Town Taco Showdown from 4.30 to 7. We're going to have the art show, the BOGO book fair, games, and bounce houses. On Wednesday, May 15th is Kindergarten's Field Day. We are going to have some special visitors here at the ECC that day, so please note that students need to be in uniform that day, so they will not have free dress on their field day. On Thursday, May 16th, we have kindergarten graduation, which will be at the junior high gym. We have two separate graduations. So, Miss Oliver and Miss Jackman will graduate at 9 a.m. And Miss Estrada, Miss Scalise's class, and Miss Bingham's class will graduate at 1.30 p.m. On Friday, May 17th, we have our pre-K graduation at the junior high gym at noon. So stay tuned for details. More will be coming about um, all of these events. So have a great May. This month, we've got a lot going on. On May 7th, which is a Tuesday, we have our family engagement team meeting at 315 at the ECC. The following day, Wednesday, May 8th, is an at-home learning day. So students will not be coming to school that day. On Thursday, May 9th, is the O-Town Taco Showdown from 4.30 to 7. It's the art show, the buy one, get one free at the book fair, games, bounce houses. It's going to be great. On Tuesday, May 21st, we have field day over at the elementary. That's a Tuesday, and that will be our free dress day. So dress appropriate for the sun. So hats, maybe some light, long sleeve shirts, and bring some sunscreen and water. On Thursday, May 23rd, is our sixth grade promotion. That's at 9 a.m. That is a minimum day. On Friday, May 24th, that is the last day of school, and that is also a minimum day. All right, last month at the junior high, we had lots of things going on. Um, we did start our testing and that's gonna continue through the month. And um, we also had our um, eighth grade honors class take a field trip to Rio Tinto. And then our AVID students, our AVID seventh grade students, were able to visit the Weber State campus. In May, again, continue testing. Uh, we have a couple testing incentives going on. First of all, if students have perfect attendance during testing weeks, they're able to earn a free dress day for the last week of school. And then students who come to school prepared with a fully charged Chromebook are earning a ticket that goes into a drawing every single day for lots of different treats. So we are focusing on making sure our students are prepared and responsible. Uh, some events going on at the junior high. We have a family engagement team meeting at 315 in the ECC. And then we have a Goblin Valley informational meeting. Now our eighth and ninth graders are being invited on a camping trip to Goblin Valley. Parents and families are welcome as well. If you'd like to find out more about that, make sure you're there May 7th, five o'clock in the junior high. May 8th is our virtual learning day. Students have an assignment to complete uh, through their Canvas homeroom course. May 9th, as you've heard, is our O-Town Taco Showdown. And May 21st is our Lagoon Day. May 22nd is our AVID and Latinos in Action graduation. Uh, that's just for ninth graders and that's at 6 p.m. We'll also be having our awards assembly 
um, that day. Parents, if your student is receiving an award, you'll be contacted to attend then. And then our last couple days of school, May 23rd and 24th, are both minimum days. Uh, we'll be giving out yearbooks then uh, for those that purchased it, doing some signing, and then also having a uh, dance the very last day of school. And that's it for the junior high. Here are a few words from our social workers, Ms. Rebecca and Ms. Losa. Hi, I'm Rebecca Kiernan. Hola, mi nombre es Itlali Losa. And we're OPA school social workers. Y somos las trabajadoras social de la escuela de OPA. May is Mental Health Awareness Month, which is dedicated to ending the stigma, extending support, fostering public education, and advocating for policies that prioritize the well-being of individuals and families affected by mental illness. El mes de mayo es el mes de concienciación sobre la salud mental, dedicado a erradicar el estigma, brindar apoyo, fomentar la educación pública y abogar por políticas que prioricen el bienestar de las personas y familias afectadas por enfermedades mentales. One in five U.S. adults experience mental illness each year and only half of them receive treatment. One in six U.S. youth experience a mental health condition each year and only half of them receive treatment. In 2020, one in five young people reported that the pandemic had a significant negative impact on their mental health. More than three-fourths of Americans say they are not content with the status of the mental health treatment in our country. Uno de cada cinco adultos en Estados Unidos sufre una enfermedad mental cada año y solo la mitad de ellos reciben tratamiento. Uno de cada seis jóvenes en Estados Unidos experimenta una condición de salud mental cada año y solo uno de ellos recibe tratamiento. En 2020, uno de cada cinco jóvenes informó que la pandemia tuvo un impacto negativo significativo en su salud mental. Más de tres cuartos de personas en Estados Unidos reportan que no están contentos con el tratamiento de salud mental en este país. If someone reaches out to you to talk about their mental health, please try to be sure to speak in a relaxed and calm manner, be a good listener, be responsive and make eye contact with a caring approach, be respectful, compassionate and empathetic to their feelings by engaging in reflective listening, give them the opportunity to talk and open up but don't press, avoid being judgmental and take them seriously. Try not to respond with statements that minimize how they are feeling or what they are going through. Si alguien te habla de su salud mental, por favor aplique lo siguiente. Asegúrese de hablar de manera relajada y tranquila. Sea un buen oyente, sea receptivo y haga contacto visual con un enfoque afectuoso. Sea respetuoso, compasivo y empático con sus sentimientos y escucha reflectivamente. Deles la oportunidad de hablar y abrirse pero no presione. Evite juzgar. Tómelos en serio. Trate de no responder con declaraciones que minimicen cómo se sienten o por lo que están pasando. Some examples of things to avoid saying include everyone feels that way sometimes. Yes, we all feel a little crazy now and then. Stop harping on the negative. You should just start living or you need to change your attitude. Cosas que debe, debemos evitar decir Todo el mundo se siente así a veces. Si todos nos sentimos un poco locos alguna vez. Deja de sentir en lo negativo, deberías empezar a vivir. Y solo necesitas cambiar tu actitud. Some things to avoid doing are criticizing, blaming, or raising your voice at them, talking too much, too rapidly, or too loudly. Silence and pauses are okay. Assuming things about them or their situation, or being sarcastic or making jokes about their condition. Cosas que debemos evitar hacer es criticarlos, culparlos, o alzarles la voz. Hablar demasiado, demasiado rápido, o demasiado alto. El, el silencio y las pausas están bien. Asumir cosas sobre ellos o de su situación. Y ser sarcástico o hacer bromas sobre su condición. If you are struggling and need help, you can reach out to 988, which is the National Suicide and Crisis Hotline, or contact Weber Human Services for support. Si usted necesita ayuda para su salud mental, por favor, llame al 988, que es la línea directa nacional de crisis y suicidio. Puede llamar o enviar mensajes de texto en cualquier momento. 
Y para ap apoyo, por favor, refiérase al departamento de Weaver Human Services. We encourage you to reach out to others to offer or seek support when you or someone you love may be struggling. Le invitamos a que se acerque a otras personas para ofrecer o buscar apoyo cuando usted o un ser querido tenga dificultades. If you feel like your student could use some mental health support, feel free to reach out to either of us anytime. We are always here to help. Si usted siente que su estudiante necesita ayuda de salud mental, siempre estamos aquí para apoyarles. Por favor, llámenos. Opus School Board is a group of community members and parents who help set the direction and the goals for our school. The school board's duties include helping OPA to stay on track to meet our goals, making good financial decisions, and keeping us connected to the community. Families are welcome to attend the board meeting, which occur the second Thursday each month. Check the OPA calendar for dates and times. We're going to learn more about our board this coming fall. This month is OPA's Spring Carnival, the O-Town Taco Showdown. Our goal this year is to raise some money to help fund the after-school program, the preschool, and school supplies. In addition to taco trucks and vendors, the book fair will be in the elementary gym, and it's buy one, get one free. The elementary gym will also host a technology sale of Chromebooks, Apple TVs, and more. And a swag swap. Bring in your clean and gently used uniforms anytime between now and May 9th, then visit the swag swap in the gym and take the items you need. As always, the spring event will have the amazing art show in the junior high gym featuring art from our students in grades 5 through 9. Out on the field, we'll have bounce houses and games. Students will be earning tickets at school that week that are good for the carnival. This is a community event, so spread the word to your friends and families and join us May 9th from 4.30 to 7 to support your students and have some tasty food as well. We're also looking for judges for the O-Town Taco Showdown. Go to our website or scan the code on the screen to apply. Hope to see you there. Well, that's it for us. Have a great week, and remember at OPA, everybody loves, everybody learns, and everybody leads. And, and be, be nice. nice. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I was going to say Bobo. <laughs> Seashore. Is this Bruto? Bruto, your friend? Okay.